So this is going to get replaced, and you have picked out an alternative for us. Right. We're going to replace it with this fiberglass door. Start right down here. It has an aluminum threshold. Mm -hmm. Now the door is actually made out of one piece of fiberglass. It's stamped to look like a panel door. You can actually see the wood grain and the styles and rails. There's actually little seams there. So the illusion is that these are all separate pieces, but you're saying it's really just one big piece. Right, and it has a foam core in it, so it's a very efficient door. All right, foam in the middle, but obviously some real wood on the perimeter, right? Right, you need a good backer where you mount the hardware. And on this side of the door over here, where the hinges are, you want to be able to screw that into the wood. Okay. Also, two lights. Two lights of glass that are insulated, very efficient. Dual pane right there. And I notice you've got some weather stripping around the uh, perimeter. Right. The weather stripping comes up both sides and across the top. And it's, it actually compresses when you close the door into it, making a nice, tight seal there. And so that is built right into the jam, which is pre-primed. And the whole door is pre-hung for us. Right. So all we have to do is pop out the old one and put in the new one. All right, now we're ready to cut the jam out using a reciprocating saw. I'm going to cut the nails right there. There's one. That's it, Kevin. Cut some of the plaster away from the jam. Did you get it? Yep. All right, let's close the door. I think we're ready to pull it out. Let's grab a couple of bars. Put the hook in, but don't put it in too far. Just a little bit and work it out. Ready? Oh, yeah. This side's free. Okay, pull it right down. Threshold's gonna stay. That's all right. We'll get it later. All right, I'm just gonna get the bar into one of these corners here. Let's just see if we can pry it up. That's easy. Okay. Now, when we put the new door into the new opening, we want to set it on a level subfloor, and this subfloor is not level and it's also crooked. Not surprising with an old house? No, but we also want to raise the entire door up about a half an inch. Why is that? Well, the new threshold is actually thinner than the old threshold, and we want the door, when it opens, to clear a carpet or a rug if they should put it down on the floor. Okay, so how do we raise it up and make it level? A couple shims across the front? Well, we could shim it, but I like to take a piece of 2 by 4 like this, put it across the opening, mm -hmm. put my level on it like that. Now I want to just shim my 2x4, make it level. So this is obviously too big for the opening. You're going to scribe this? All right. Now I'm going to put a mark right here, half an inch down from the top, onto my 2x4, because that's how much I want to raise the door. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to set my scribes from the subfloor to my mark. Mm. Tighten them up. And I'm simply going to scribe right across. Don't push down. Now I just scribe it following the subfloor. I cut along that line with a saw. Now I cut two of these filler strips, one for the back and one for the front. And did you uh, scribe each one independently? I did. I put it down. Let's check it with the level, see how we did. That's nice. good. Now we'll just nail it in place. Now, I cut a strip of this self-sealing membrane that will flash underneath the door, sticky on the back. If it gets penetrated, it will seal on its own. So we peel this off. And we want to go about two inches past the opening, Kevin. Stick it on this piece down below. Put a little piece in each corner. All right, one more thing I want to do before we put the door in. Run a nice thick bead of caulking right here in the corner. Now go right in, now right across the front, right in front of that fold that we made. There you go. A nice glob on the other end too. Fill it right up. All right, those two pieces of scrap wood that you screwed on the face of the jam, that's actually to hold the door from falling through the opening when we put it in. But it also will hold the door flush with the exterior wall. That's a nice little trick. All right, now it's nice and flush with the wall. I need about a three-quarter inch space on each side to put it in the center of the opening, so you got to come to me a little more, a little more. Okay, right there. Check your side. Three quarters right on. All right, let's check the threshold for level. That's pretty good. Now with the threshold level, we're ready to plumb up the hinge side of the door, and to do that, we're going to use this level right here. So we're tacked on the bottom. Right. Now the top's got to go towards you a little bit. 
All right, back it off a little. All right, let me get some shims in here. Tap the shims in. Good. Okay. Nice. Now we'll shim the middle. Now the top hinge is actually missing two screws. The manufacturer supplies two longer screws to go through the jam, through the shims, and into the structure. Now remember, the door came pre-bored for the lever and the deadbolt. Okay, that one's nice and tight. Okay, now I'm gonna spray some insulating foam around the opening. Okay, good swing, nice fit, and weather tight.